And when did you meet Mantle? At a spring training game in 1966. I went over and got his autograph. Because you're both from Oklahoma. Yeah, and he was, you know, he was it. He was Mickey Mantle. And that's what inspired me when I was three years old to hear Mickey Mantle batting. And I said, you can be from Oklahoma and play in the major leagues. I was asking my dad. And that's how I did it. And then he came to my, uh, I had a golf tournament at Hearts, uh, the Heart Fund Invitational in Tampa. And he came to the tournament. And I have pictures on my wall of him pitching pennies with my dad outside of the Ramada Inn. <laughs> and that night, Mickey comes up to me. I'm, st I'm over there. And he said, hey, John, let's go have a drink. Mickey's asking me to go have a drink because uh, right across the street is the Marriott. And it's a disco. You know, we got those back in those days, yeah. it's discos. They got the glass balls and everything else. I said, sure. So we walk across the street to the Marriott, and we walk up to the door of the disco, and a big bouncer's there and says, John, you can come in, but we've already kicked out Mickey three times. <laughs> <laughs> he was using he you was, to get in. <laughs> <laughs> how, how much partying went on, though? Back when you played? Not for us. Not much for us. You guys were that boring? We were that conscientious, I think. You know, in, in spring training when Sparky came, he uh, he gathered all the guys around. And he said, look, all right, you 25 are going to Cincinnati. So he said, now, there's two sets of rules here. Pete, Johnny, Toe, Joni, you don't, Joe, you don't have rules. I'm thinking, all right, you know, <laughs> even though we weren't staying out, I mean, it was like, but if you had a, something happen and you got, you're fine. You don't have to sneak through the kitchen, do this stuff. And then he said, the rest of you guys, you're going to do this, this, and this. And then he said, and I'm thinking, this is something going on. He said, I don't have to worry about those four guys because they know what it takes. They know they'll be in. They'll have some time, but they're going to know what it takes to win. And it was just such a psychological thing for us. But we respected him. We really we really didn't. I mean, it was really – and a lot of times after a game, if you went to a restaurant or bar, we you could take a team picture because we all hung out together. Yeah, but no drinking. I didn't say that. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you drink every day, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> you're a professional. You're, yeah, I mean, oh, it's the guy – it's the pitcher that pitches, you know, drinks after the Ooh. game where he – you yeah. know, and he has – I've got a problem. Yeah, I don't know. The rest of us should have had a problem. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.